Hi guys, welcome to a rather different Brushmaster video today. Today I'm going to use this video to show you a brand new invention that I've come up with for a painting miniature handle. Now I've, I've used many different handles over the years and I, I've honestly never felt one, found one that I've been comfortable with and none of them have ever solved the problem that I'm really looking for and that's something that stops me holding and touching the miniature and rubbing the paint off. Let's have a look at it and let's see what we think. So this is the handle or as I call it the chalice. Now the reason it looks like it does is because the problem I was having a lot was like I said I would be painting miniatures and I would end up especially with near the top of the miniature and small details I would end up with my fingers on the model and I'd be gripping the model and I'd end up rubbing paint off or making it shiny and just basically ruining all the hard work that I've done. So what this does now this allows me now to cut the miniature in my hand which is how I want to hold the miniature and I know a lot of people have said the same thing to me as well but what I can do now is I can rest my hands on the side of the miniature and I can paint all sorts of different angles without ever touching the miniature even from the top here I can cut my hand I can rest on here, I can do things, and it's fully rotational, so it will rotate 360 degrees, and like I said, this is a prototype, so some of the edging's a bit rough, I'm in development now of producing the final version. Um, but the other nice thing about this handle is it, it you can interchange it with other miniatures that you're painting and different sizes. So this is the smallest size of the handle at the moment. Um, what's really cool is it just snaps off the bottom. It's held in place with uh, rare earth magnets. And if you want to swap another mini in, it just snaps it. And then you can swap your minis around all day long. And these handles, these different units especially will be uh, part of the selling that I do um, probably going to be an, on a Kickstarter um, but if you're batch painting things and um, have several models on the go this is a really nice option for just swapping them in and out very easy to do like I said and you can then swap them in and out but what happens if you're painting bigger models? I mean, this, this model here at the moment is roughly around 65, 70 millimeters tall, which is perfect height for this miniature holder. And also, you know, if you're painting Warhammer models, this cradle would be all you need, it's perfect. But if we do want to make, paint some bigger models, we are gonna have a problem that the miniature is going to be really big. Now this miniature is a hundred millimeters. It's it's huge. So what do we do in this case when I want to paint the bits near the top and I've got nothing to ha hold? So part of what is going to come with the miniature handle as well is an extension. And like I said, these these are all prototypes at the moment. These will be finished a lot better. So what we have with the extension now is now I can comfortably hold this whole miniature. I can work on all the different bits of it just the same all over the model. And I can still cut my hand around the cradle or the chalice, whatever you want to call it. And I can work on different parts of the mini. So that, that's one problem that I had that I've tried to solve with this extension. Um, the other big problem I had, which I've come up with another idea for, is some miniatures have got big sticky out bits which are going to 
catch on the edge. Okay, so this was another problem I sort of thought about when I was designing this. So what I've also come up with is a half size. And what that means is when you're going to have a miniature that, say, has a big axe sticking out, you can still use the chalice type approach, but you can also rotate it about 270 degrees, which means you would be able to paint every part of the model and you'd still have all the benefits of the rotating handle. So this, this handle itself will, will solve a lot of problems for miniature painters who, who have similar issues to me. You know, I, I really wanted to, I've looked everywhere, I really wanted to find something which I could really put my hand around. Because I've, I've noticed when I, when I paint, I, I tend to start off very nicely holding the, the miniature hold or whatever, but I always end up doing this. And when I paint at the top here, I end up with my fingers all over the mini. And for, I've tried and tried and tried to train myself to hold the base and hold the mini different, and I just can't do it. So the solution was to come up with something that solved the problem. So there you go, go guys. This is the miniature painting chalice, or the painting chalice, I call it. Um, I hope you're going to like it. Um, if there's anything about it that you feel could be better, or could be changed, or what you like or don't like, put something in the comments down below, guys. Just let me know. Give me some feedback, and I'll take everything into account, and I'll answer all your comments. Um, have a look on my, come, at, come along and join my Discord, which is in the link in the description. I've got proper design pictures on there and on my Twitch stream and other streams that are uploaded on my YouTube channel, you can see me actually using this live painting. So check them out guys and let me know what you think.